Moving on. T. Higgins uh, was the 33rd pick in this year's draft. He caught five of nine targets uh, for 40 yards, two scores against the Philadelphia Eagles. He's only rostered in 7% of leagues. I think right now he's probably worth like an end of bench staff. Uh, stash, excuse me. Um, Maybe. He's second in targets on the team in week three and first in snaps. AJ Green, while being there, just hasn't been able to put it together for whatever yep. reason. I mean, definitely concerned there, but if, if they decide to pull the trigger and get younger eventually, especially if they're like, Oh, and seven, Oh, and eight, or I don't know. I mean, you know, if they just keep losing, I wouldn't be surprised if they just try and put T Higgins in a more prominent role eventually. Um, but for the record the Bengals tied, they did not lose. Just want that. That just should want count that as fact. two losses. <laughs> God. <laughs> um, Tyler Boyd showed up, which makes me happy as a Tyler He's Boyd good. over over AJ Green uh truther before the season started. Tyler Boyd is by far and away the number one there going forward, I hope. Um, when it comes to T. Higgins, I think it's important to note that Joe Burrow is currently on pace to throw the most passes in NFL history through three weeks. And so for that reason, potentially the volume could be there, especially if AJ Green I'm not saying they're going to bench AJ Green or they're just going to stop playing him. But if T Higgins does take over some more of the snaps and is going to, they're going to throw the most passes ever, then he might be playable. Yeah. It's not even about benching AJ Green as much as it is like, you know, calling plays where Higgins is the first or second read. The read. It's just giving him more opportunities and that's Didn't the, the Bengals. I think the Bengals either. ran the the most three wide uh, sets last year in football too. Um, and this is a disciple of um, McVay out in um, LA for the Rams, who the year before that ran the most three wide receiver sets in football. So it kind of seems like they're going to have three guys. And if T Higgins is the third one and taking you know all the reps away from what is it Austin Tate or Auden Tate, sorry, um, then I think T, T Higgins should be playable. and um, Or maybe they should line up Joe Mixon to actually give him the ball out, of, out in the f- slot because they're not turning around and giving him the ball. Joe Mixon, man. Rough. What an incredible, probably one of the bigger busts of the year so far. Just because so far. like everybody else, like a ton of players have been knocked out from injury, but... Joe Mixon hasn't, so you're starting him. You're just getting nothing out of that position yep. and nothing out of that draft spot. Like awful starts the year for Mixon. Um, Terrible. So how much are you spending on T. Higgins? Five, ten percent? Uh, no, no more than five. No, I more don't than think anybody's going to bid on him. In uh, most, I, I, I think yeah. in most leagues, people aren't even going to pay attention to him. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.